Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some pepper jack cheese, summer sausage, and triscuits. And we're talking about Rage 2, Will You Buy It? So guys, trick question. I already bought Rage 2, and you know what? I don't regret that I kind of pre-purchased it a few days before its actual release. Just because with the recent... Borderlands 3 info and all this hype around looter shooters. Well, they're not even looter shooters. They're just shooters. Um, it's got me excited. It's It's got me in the mood for some FPS action. And I originally played the Doom remake. The I believe it was 2016 Doom remake that they just came out with. And <laughs> just came out with. Guys, it's three years ago. But anyways... Um, I'm just excited for some shooting action, and that's kind of what I want to be getting myself into over the next few weeks. And by the way, Triscuits and Cheese and Crackers, Summer Sausage, one of my favorite snacks of all time. Ooh, that pepper jack. Pretty strong. And speaking of strong, the gunplay in this game, Rage 2, looks pretty dang good, doesn't it? I mean, for, for a basic blow-up-everything style kind of game, um, it doesn't look bad. Although, there's a few things that I know I personally will hate about it. Number one being there's no multiplayer. Number two, the expansions are going to come, but they're going to come at a pace where usually what happens in FPS games like this is that you play it, you buy it, and then as DLC comes out, you don't really care because later on there's better release games and you're into more other stuff, maybe a new... MMO will come out you can never really tell so while I think it'll be a fun little pickup I don't think it has longevity just because of the fact that a it's kind of an obscure title and B the lack of multiplayer is gonna mean you're just running around by yourself a la Far Cry style The first Rage had a really, really crappy, um, like, side mission access authorization. I don't know really what to call it, because doing side missions in uh, Rage 1 was absolutely horrible. It was just abysmal. This new one looks more like Far Cry style, where, you know, you run around the map clearing basically everything and anything you find. And for me, what's going to be fun, you know, is, and hopefully for you, is just blowing the crap out of everything. I feel like I'm playing a game of chess here or something. Let me take a drink of water, guys. Like I said before, that pepper jack cheese, pretty strong. So yeah, gunplay. Gunplay looks fantastic. The guns, <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know, I think they went a little over the top with a few of the weapons. But for the most part, if it explodes, if it makes stuff go boom, um, I'm digging it. I'm liking it. If it has alternate fire modes, I love it, right? Because you can do, kind of vary your gameplay up. What I, uh, what I don't like is that a few of the weapons kind of seem, I don't know, like I said before, a little too far-fetched, a little too cumbersome or awkward to use. I like a more straightforward boom, bang, make stuff go fiery, explodey, whatever type approach. But if you're one of those people that just likes to run around and play around and do trick stunts, I guess that's kind of up your alley. Um, a few of the guns kind of kind of just feel like they pulled some stuff from their older games like Just Cause. Not horribly original. Just kind of like, hey we we know we can program this, uh, let's put it on a weapon in this new game, right? But going back to it again, also, they are kind of making this game more Doom style, where you're running and destroying and fast, so to me this game, <laughs> in a nutshell, it's kind of like the baby of Just Cause and Doom. It's like they just smooshed them together, which is basically what happened. I'm not saying either of those games are bad, either. I mean, they're both great titles in their own right. But this uh, new 2019 Amalgamation, Rage 2, um, yeah, I don't know. The verdict is kind of on the fence, you know? When you, we gotta see it to believe it. From what I've seen, read, heard, and uh, passively experienced, the gameplay is solid, but the storyline in Rage 2, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be very generic, very non-unique, oh, non non-over-the-top, I don't know what to say. But the characters that are in it, they all look kind of like it's been done before, like it's a reiteration on a theme. But what I will tell you is that I want to use this game as kind of a jumping point into Borderlands 3 because it'll, you know, freshen up, like I said, the FPS aspect, the run and gun, and it's, they're both post-post-apocalyptic, I don't know what they want to call it. Check out those peppers. Oh man, they're intense.
ever since I was little, I've always loved summer sausage cheese and crackers. I mean, what kind of cheese and crackers did you guys grow up with? And do you like what you see for Rage 2? Did you pick it up already? Are you thinking about it? Are you on the fence? Let us know in the comments. Regardless, guys, remember to game, eat, and discuss. And my cracker broke. So I'll see you in the next one.